Welcome back, it's Paul Maglev here. <laughs> and I think I overlooked something in a previous... <clears throat> Excuse me. In a previous update. Uh, I wanted to take a look at this level because it's finally available to the public again after being in really, really early access in the early alpha. It's now available in the beta 1.1 and I wanted to play it with you guys and show you what it looks like. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, one thing I want to know, I mean, want to let you know. One thing I want to let you know is that... Uh, I realized how the controls work finally, for the hotkeys. Because previously I was having trouble with setting up the hotkeys. It turns out you can have two hotkeys for each and every single uh, function you could possibly want, and I didn't know that. So when I updated one of these columns with the desired hotkeys I wanted, the commands would still follow through on other commands that were hot, uh, set up on different hotkeys in this column over here. I'm not entirely sure if that's a feature or if that's kind of a graphical thing, a glitch of some sort, but... Now I'm able to do what I want to do, and that is use the hotkeys in the customized fashion that I want to. And it's nice to uh, be back doing what I do. And it appears that I won't be able to turn this around. There we go. I had to bulldoze some houses. I didn't want to do that, but it looks like I have no choice. And I can set the speed with the new custom hotkeys I've got now. I'm surprised I was completely oblivious to how the hotkeys worked. But one of the niceties of all of this... Hold on a sec. One of the niceties is that... Uh, the game is finally available for everybody to play. They've smooth out all the textures, they've got all the levels, everything's taken care of, and everything is good. Uh, in the most recent patch, Beta 1.1, they did change a lot of stuff. They changed the income tax so that it's progressive instead of uh, flat, which I think is a vast improvement because I used to uh, get bankrupt because of that. I would invest so much in track that I'd forget to actually focus on returns by the end of the fiscal year in the game. So each new year I would have a tax that I'd have to pay and I would have completely uh, been out of cash to pay for it and I'd go bankrupt. They also changed it so you don't uh, lose as much cash when you crash trains. So you don't instantly lose the game to a single crash. You can have multiple crashes now. And it looks like I seem to have completely lost my train of thought. Sorry, I, I, I just had to do that. Blame puns aside. Oh dear. Uh, no, 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 no! <sighs> okay, that was close. And another train is coming out of the station. <gasps> Still crashed! Oh, that's the other thing they updated in this patch. Now you have to fix all the track. Let's see, I've got this taken care of. Oh, it looks like I'm gonna have to deconstruct this. Oh dear. Let's see, let's build this up again. 
no, I cannot afford to do that. Let's see, that should do it. You know, let's slow this down a bit because I seem to be having a lot of issues. Nope, 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 nope! Trains are leaving the stations more prematurely now. I don't remember it being that way. Hey! All this stuff is gone for some reason. And I'm out of cash. Mission failure! Woo! Uh, let's try to be smart about it this time. Or, I'll try to be smart about it this time. If I can actually build. Thank you. There's a rock in the way. So yeah, we're gonna take this a little more easily because I am having trouble multitasking. No, I didn't mean to. Dang it. That's gonna leave a hole in my wallet. Hopefully, I can change it to speed two. I will have to rebuild this. There we go. Now I have to build up and around. I don't want to destroy this, that'll cost a lot. So I'll just build up and around. Through the trees. And perfect timing, or placement, because now I can do this. I don't remember the coal-fired plants uh, releasing so much uh, smog. Must be new graphics. I don't remember that being around. So, new features! Yay! Anything else I needed to do? Because they changed a lot of stuff, I'll probably post what all the updates are. Uh, post edit. I seem to be having some sort of fiscal troubles, though I don't see what justifies that. The Teal Town, designated by this E, is really popular because there's so many trains heading in that direction. I swear, that's like the sixth one? It's very peculiar. Uh, I did it again. Double the speed. Let's add some more trains. Trains heading out of the station. And that went the wrong way. Dang it. Switch this track, stop this train, turn it around. Thanks for letting me know that, Steam. I don't need to know that right now. I swear, I wish I knew how to get rid of those displays. Down. 
else I want to do? Yeah, that seems to be good. You're probably wondering what I want to do next after I uh, wrap up this level because there won't be another patch for a while for this game. And for a while, uh, I think initially I'm going to be working on a few things. I'm going to catch up on the Five Nights at Freddy's trilogy some more. I've already got some stuff queued up for Five Nights at Freddy's 2. But I still have yet to take care of Five Nights at Freddy's 3. I just got that in my Steam collection or library just recently. So I guess you can expect some of that as well in the near future. If you're curious. One of the few curious things about on a different note. About uh, Train Valley is that one of the types of uh, whistle sounds doesn't actually play in Europe, but it does in the Soviet Union, and it does play in uh, the United States and the North American continent uh, campaign or whatever it is. But it doesn't do it in the European campaign. The Western European campaign, that is. But everything seems to be working fine and dandy, and I don't have to add any more infrastructure. It's all just uh, micromanagement at this point, and it's all good. That sounds inappropriate in every single way possible. Didn't mean to say it like that. Looks like we're at the end of the level here. I really didn't want it to end so soon, but uh, everything uh, has to start and end at some point. So yeah, mission accomplished. No achievements though for this level because it's the f it's the level at the end of the European campaign. These all have achievements and stuff and objectives to get, but it doesn't have it over here. And this campaign here doesn't have the same, uh, it's missing one of the, uh, train sounds that are found in this campaign on North America and this campaign in the former Soviet Union. So yeah, something to think about, uh... Uh, that I would want in the future patch, I guess. Uh, other than that, I think that's going to be it uh, for today. I'll see you guys later, and until then, take it easy.